Hi, my name is Lenny Zeltzer, and I'm the primary author of Forensics 610, Reverse Engineering Malware. My co-authors and I created a course that's designed to help security professionals get into the world of malware analysis and expand whatever expertise they might already have examining malicious software. The course is useful for people who perform forensic analysis and for those who are involved in incident response. Inevitably, when performing this kind of work, you will be exposed to malicious software and you will need to determine what are the capabilities of that software so that you can tell what is the significance of a given incident, what took place in a system where that malware was discovered, and also how could you look for the presence of this kind of malware in a larger enterprise environment. To answer these questions, we start off by learning how to examine the behavior of such malware in a controlled laboratory environment. And as the course progresses, we look at more sophisticated techniques that even involve the use of a disassembler and a debugger to understand how malware performs from the code level perspective. We also look not only at compiled Windows executables, but at malicious document files, including PDF and Microsoft Office documents. And we take into account the usefulness of memory forensic techniques for examining the inner workings of malicious software. The course is useful for people who are either just starting out in the field of malware analysis, or maybe those people who have done some of this work before, perhaps experimented in their own lab, perhaps um, read some books and played with tools in their environment and are looking for a more systemic approach to examining malicious software to formalize and expand the knowledge that might, they might already have. There's a lot to be said about this course, and to learn more about the techniques, the tools, and the approaches we employ when learning how to analyze malicious software, take a look at the website learnrem.com.